what is going on fellow game developers now today we're going to be adding in the ability to jump into our fiat godot game um and yeah basically it's as simple as just getting him to jump i've built this little obstacle course out of just simple uh meshes static bodies and a collision shape uh and then i've built this little parkour section which we're going to complete in this mission with our jump ability so the first thing we need to do is actually go to our xr origin go to our right hand you can use the left hand if you want but i'm going to be using the right hand this is going to be the hand which you press the button to do the jump and the button i'm going to be using is the a key here so i will show you how to set that up because by default it will be this trigger which will be ooh, which will be to jump i almost knocked my controller on the floor there uh so yeah so the first thing we'll do is we're going to press Control shift a and we're going to search for the movement and we'll be looking for the movement jump now don't get confused with the physical jump this is jumping in real life whereas this one is jumping virtually so let's get this and then what we're going to do is over on the left here we're going to change the actual jump button but to know which one we have to do we need to look at the open xr action map so this is the tr action map the where all the buttons are actually um set up to and we can go down here and find the ax button so for the right controller that is going to be the a button and for the left controller that is going to be the x button there so we're going to copy this code i'm going to bring this back down and just close that and we're going to change the jump button action to be the ax button instead now you need to make sure there is a player body under your um, XR Origin camera as well. This should have been automatically added when you added in the um, one of the functions. I think it's the movement function or the turn movement. One of these functions would have automatically added in the player body from the last video. Um, and this is what actually controls all the movement in the game. So over on the right, you can see we have a bunch of settings. So if we can go into physics, collisions and player setup now you can see this gives you the player radius the head height and you can mess around with all of these if you want a max height and a min height um and then you can see here there's a few other settings here we also have the collision so this is going to be can he push rigid bodies and what is his strength factor so how strong is he compared to other things that is in the collisions and then in the physics we have ground control on ground near ground or we're going to keep it on the on ground for now now i'm going to actually create a new physics um xr tools ground physics settings here but what we want to look at is down here the jump velocity here and the bounciness bounce threshold there's a bunch of different variables here we can change so jump velocity we can set this to something like five if we want to jump quite high but three is actually probably good enough for now but we can tweak this later on if you want to change this feel free to actually change this another one to look at is the jump max slope this i believe allows you to jump off 45 degree surfaces so if you're on a, a slightly uh edged jump you'll be able to jump as long as it's not over 45 degrees for ish you will no longer be able to jump i'm pretty sure that's what that saying does i've never tried it but we can find out at a later date so let's actually um go into our game now and see if we can jump first things first is getting on our feet our headset plugging it in oh tucking away the wire and then i need to find my controls here we are and then all i'm going to do is hit play and this should take us into the game now here we are and you can see if i tap my a button i don't know if you can see what i'm tapping i don't know where the camera is right now but we can tap we can still pick up stuff we can throw them up in the air we've got the actual interaction now we can jump so let's see if we can actually climb up this so i do not believe we can actually jump high enough yet so we may need to up the height we can jump so inside of our player body, let's go back to our physics and just up the jump velocity to something like five and see if this works. We can hit play again, put the headset on and try this out. And here you go, you can see we can actually jump up now. Although you do need to kind of, you can't actually move in the air, so you kind of have to jump. And whoa, we overshot that one. Now you can see I'm a bit slidey and I'm a bit jumpy. We can tweak some of these settings to make it a bit more snappier. Um, as currently this is a bit too hard to actually jump up. 
So what we're going to change is the ground control. This will allow us to move, I believe, in the air. So what we're going to do is select this to always for now and actually try this out and see if it allows me to push myself around while I'm actually in the air. The issue is once you jump, you can't actually move anymore. You get, you just stay where you are. Your, your velocity stays intact. Here you go. So now you can see I can actually jump in the air, which is nice, which means we should be able to climb this a lot easier and here we go we are able to jump over all of these now we jump quite high so we should be able to climb straight up on these but there you go you can see we can now jump around and you can tweak with these sayings mess around change them around see which works for you you can see there we actually just kick this block here you go the block is flying around so that is what we're gonna do in the next video i want you guys to tell me what you want to see in the next tutorial if that's uh, teleporting, if that's like ray distance grab, oh, I just flew. So if that, I want you to let me know what you want to see in the next video, whether that be the ability to grab things from a distance, whether that be to actually um, teleport around instead of walking around, or whatever features you want to see in this XR tutorial. Now, there's going to be a lot more features coming forward. Um, we're going to add in loads of VR features, so do you just let me know what you want to see, and I will implement that into this series. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. The source code can be found on Patreon, so if you want to support the channel, head over to Patreon, become a beta wolf subscriber, and you can get access to all the previous tutorial source code lesson by lesson. Also, if you want to join the community, hop over to the description, select that Discord link, and join in our community it's a bu fun bunch of people we do a bunch of mini games in the surf as well and we also help each other out finally guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to leave a like thumbs up smash that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one peace out